I'm Judy Sarden, author, national speaker on educational topics, and 20 plus year corporate attorney. I'm your presenter on this webinar, How to Teach Your Kids Critical Thinking Skills. Tell me, are you concerned that all your kids do in school is engage in a bunch of rote memorization that doesn't mean anything? Are you concerned that they aren't really developing critical thinking skills because the emphasis is so much on standardized testing, m memorize for the test, regurgitate it on the test so that your schools can have high scores? If you're concerned that that's all that's going on in your school, you are not alone. So many parents are concerned about the lack of true critical thinking skills um, that's taking place in schools. You know, there's such a strong emphasis on STEM careers. Well, you're not going to be successful in a STEM career if all you've done is memorization and regurgitation. To be successful in a STEM career requires critical thinking skills. It requires analytical skills. And these are the sorts of things that really are being overlooked in schools. Well, the good thing is that I'm going to teach you how you can develop these skills in your kids at home. And the beauty of it is you can do it with the materials that you already have. You can do it with books that you have at home right now. You can do it with library books. You can do it with the stuff that your kids are bringing home every day from school. I'm not going to try to sell you a product in order to implement this program at the end of the webinar. So I am truly going to teach you what you need to do as mom, dad, parent, even teacher in order to help your kids to learn how to think. You know, when I went to law school eons ago, I found myself lost because this was the first time I'd ever been required to use critical thinking skills. Now I'd always been a good student. I'd been a great student in high school got good grades in college, as pretty much everybody who goes to law school does. But I had acquired those grades by memorization, by giving the teacher what she needed. I had never been taught critical thinking skills. And so it was difficult, as it was for so many people once we got to graduate school, to now we had to learn these critical thinking skills we had to in order to be successful. We not only needed those for school itself, but in our careers post-graduate. So when I had kids, I was determined to make sure that they would acquire these critical thinking skills as they developed, as they grew up, so that they would become second nature to them. It is these methods that I will teach you in this web class. Now you can use these methods regardless of the age of your children. Whether you have littles, whether you have elementary school kids, middle school kids, high school kids, you will be able to use these methods. I'll go over things that you can do for each age group in order to, to help develop these skills. Learning these skills now will better prepare them for college level work. Learning these skills now will help to better prepare them <clears throat> for any career that they'll have after college. Learning these skills now will really help them in all walks of life, whether it's writing, <clears throat> whether it's in a STEM career, whether it's in a professional career, in any field, you want your kids to have these skills before they go in. You don't want them to have to learn these skills on top of learning all the information that they're learning on their jobs or in school. So, what I promise you is this. On this call, you will get step-by-step -step instructions on how to teach your children critical thinking skills by using the very same methods that were used in law schools, in my law school, and that are used in law schools all across the country. You'll learn how to apply these methods regardless of age. You'll also walk away with a list of questions, a list of resources that you can use in order to train yourself to train your kids. And again, these resources are nothing that I'm selling. These are simply recommendations for you to use. The other thing that you'll get on 
the web class is the ability to ask questions live. The class will last between an hour and an hour 30 minutes and you can ask questions live that I can answer while we're on the class. Now, if you cannot make the time of the actual live seminar, don't worry about it. Go ahead and sign up. After the class is over, you will receive a replica replay. You will receive everything that took place during the web class. You will also receive a link to email me personally if you have any questions. So you don't lose anything if you can't make the live class. You get everything that happened in the live class, plus you can send me questions, uh, follow-up questions if you have any questions after the class. So go ahead, sign up. I think you'll be really pleased um, with the information. A lot of it may be new to a lot of people, but it's not difficult. And this little bit, this, this, this small investment in your child's future I think you'll decide that it's totally worth it.